filter the data. So what are the ways that we can filter the data? Number one thing. So by using uh, sequential file stage. Okay. For example, I have a little bit receiving a file uh, with contents, header and footer, like uh, like header and footer with the uh, total number of records in it at the Tyler with this today's date. Okay. So you want to we want to remove that file and uh, so that is my requirement. So here by using uh, sequential file states, there is an option called filter that can be applied to remove the header and footer. And for example, if you want to search a specific word, a specific pattern word by using grep command, by using the filter concepts in sequential file states, that way we can filter the data, okay? So filter option will be there, okay? So the next one, what is the other method that we can filter the data by? A SQL filter condition. A SQL filter condition in uh, database connectors, database. Okay, database connectors. In the database connectors. And what is the next step? What is the other method? Any idea? So by using by using so i think this we have covered in the previous session so we have given uh, department number 30 to filter the data right so please guys please meet yourself okay. right so the next one is like how we can filter the data by using transformer stage okay so transformer stage so transformer stage constant option is there Okay, constraint. Constraint option is there. So there we can filter the data. Another, other, another option is here we have data filter stage. Data filter stage. So with this, uh, we can filter the data. How we will write uh, the where class filter conditions in uh, SQL? The same way here, we can filter the data. Okay, and what is the other method? By using by using switch stage. Okay. So here by using switch stage. Switch stage is like a single column filter. But filter stage is a multiple column filter. So if I want to uh, if I want to filter multiple columns If I want to filter multiple multiple columns, I want to apply filter conditions. Then go for filter stage. And if I want to fill apply filter condition on a specific follow a specific uh, statement, a specific uh, uh, case case such that you want to do your filter activity. So in that scenario, go for uh, switch stage. Okay. And we have like another uh, thing that is by using external filter stage okay so external filter stage generally we won't use in real time so most of the cases for data filter will be working with uh, will be working with transformer stage and filter stage to filter the data okay so these are the ways that we can uh, restrict the data okay so we can filter the data uh, the data that is coming from source and move to the next processing stage till to the destination place. Okay. So now let's move on to practical session. We'll be working on few scenarios. So let me open VM.